Hello YouTube, welcome to Jan's Oriental Food Workshop. On this channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food, exactly how most Chinese takeaways would do it. Not the best way to do it, our own recipes personally, we would not do it this way. This is literally how a Chinese in England would make it. So if that's your kind of thing, by all means, like, comment and subscribe. We always get back to comments because they're awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Chen and this is my mum Chu. Hello. So today's video is actually how to prep beef for um, any sort of oriental dish. It's a video we've done before in the past as part of, I think, the beef curry. And there was another beef dish that we did. No, it was just beef curry. Yeah, so, but a lot of you have asked how to do it like the black beans in a separate video. So that's what we've done for you guys. The video after this is going to be, Mum? Beef chow mein with sauce. Nailed it, nailed it. Um, beef chow mein with sauce. Yes. Thanks to the Patreons of ours who um, get to decide the direction of the channel. Uh, they picked beef chow mein with sauce. The next one after this, we'll be doing a classic egg foo young, not a takeaway egg foo young, a traditional one, I should have said, not classic, a traditional egg foo young. So the actual Chinese version and not the Western. Yes. Do you, do you want to say something? Yeah, no, no, it's called, yeah. It's called what? Um, are we filming? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah? It's like, like, mean like meatloaf, isn't it? <laughs> You're the one who's fluent in the language. Yeah. It means meatloaf. Yes. Oh, so it's Chinese meatloaf. I didn't know that. <laughs> but anyway, we'll be, we'll be teaching you how to do that as well. And just to show you how different the Chinese takeaway version is from the actual Fuyang, which Chinese people would know. I mean, obviously, a lot of places around the world now um, eat the westernized version. It's just the way it is. But the traditional version is very, very different. And we want to show you guys that. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, thanks to the patrons for picking that suggestion for us. If you'd like to become a patron, just sign up below. Every, even just a dollar a month really gets us a step forward for doing this full time, where we could get you better videos more often. Yes. Yes. Anyway, we'll get to the video now. Bye. <laughs> right. So. We've got a kilo of beef here we got from our local butcher in Porlock, Clive Down. So if you're local and you want to buy some meat, go there because he's very, very reasonable and very friendly. Um, we are not going to use all of this. We're going to use half of it because um, there's just too much otherwise. But yeah, we're going to cut this in half. What cut is this? Top side. So <clears throat> a kilo of top side here, just cut straight in half. I'm going to wrap half of it up. Take off all that fat on the outside to left with just the meat. Okay, so mum is just prepping, taking off all the dry bits because you don't really want them. Yep. See those fibres there? Stringy fibres. If you cut it slices that way down, you will not get tender beef. It will be tough and rubbery. You need to go across the grain. Yeah, so you need to go across it and that way you get nice chunks. Right, also you need a really, really sharp knife. If you're not using a sharp knife, you can't get it thin enough. Part of your problem if you've got tough beef and you can't get it tender like takeaways is because it's slightly too thick. It really does need to be thin. They, they really cut it thin to make their beef go further and that's why it's so tender. So okay mum, would you like to go on that? Taking away all the sinew stuff because this is really chewy. Okay. 
can you see how thin that is? You have to remember it's designed to cut quick as well. So any thicker than that, that is that that there is probably a little that is too thick. Um, again, that is probably a little bit too thick. That is perfect thickness. And you just repeat, you just repeat this for the whole lot of beef. Make sure you put it into a nice big tub because you're going to mix it. I'm going to leave quite a lot of this um, video in so you can see how to deal with little bits of problems that might occur that you might not um, think of how to get rid of so a dark spot occurs how to get rid of that how to get rid of the sinew just so you can see how we're doing it See what mum's doing there is cutting it in half, folding it over and then spreading it, butterfly it to get more beef. Otherwise that's just a chunk that you can't use. And we do that quite a lot in normal takeaways. like this this is really nice when you cook it it turns into jelly they're yum they're, they're not yum mum yeah. no, no mum's mental ignore that last comment <laughs> it's what you like to eat isn't it it's true mum's just speeding this up now Long way, don't cut it this way, right? Turn it round. Always, always across the grain. Like wood, it's exactly the same thing. When you're working with wood, it's bits are a little bit thick, but we're rushing it now. So there we go, that is your beef cut. There are quite a few ingredients that go into this, and um, you can't really measure them out. It really does depend on how dry your beef is. This is actually quite nice and moist because it's a lovely cut of beef that we got from the local butcher which is really high quality. So we won't need much water but you do need water, um, bicarb, salt, MSG, garlic powder, soy sauce, and potato starch or corn flour. I believe the actual term we're going to be doing is technically known as velveting. I've literally just learned that term in the last week. I've always just known this as beef prep, so we'll get on with this. So, mum, how much? That is bicarb. So, for this is around four, 450, 500 grams of beef you need just a pinch of bicarb too much and it goes really gacky in your mouth this uh, there's something in the bicarb that um, tenderizes the beef but if you put too much in you can feel it all over the it coats your teeth it's disgusting isn't it yeah you get a white teeth then <laughs> pinch of um, salt so fifth of a teaspoon of salt same again for the MSG. A bit more MSG. Don't 
full, or pretty much half a teaspoon of garlic powder goes in. Quite a, you need quite a bit of dark soy sauce, so two teaspoons. And lastly, sorry, you need some water as well. I'm guessing you need some water, Justin. So that is two Chinese spoons worth of water. I don't know what that is in English me measurements. Um, four dessert spoons. Cola. You mix that all up. You really want to coat that beef. Okay, once that's done, you add the potato starch. This keeps the marinade actually on the beef and it helps keep the moisture inside it as well. When you're frying it, that is. Okay, so that's pretty much done. All you need to do now is freeze it. That gets it tender as well because the ice crystals form inside the cells. They break the cell uh, membranes and they cause the meat to go tender. That's what they do in takeaways and that's why it's so tender. If you don't um, freeze it, that's fine. Just leave it for a couple of hours in the fridge. It will tenderize still. It just won't be as tender. Um, anything to add to that, Mum? That's good. If you, if you don't want your beef to dry out, you can um, get a bit of oil, go on top, about like that, yeah? Yep. Stop your meat getting dry. You see? How lovely and smooth now. That's literally what they do, they put that on the top. So if you want that, can go in the fridge for now, for an hour, two hours, or do what we would do is freeze it because it makes the beef far, far more tender. Okay. Right, so hope this, hope this helps. Yep. Um, we're gonna do more tip videos like this. Um, thank you to the Patreons who are now our Patreons. Your names go in the end of the credits and you help the direction of the channel. So again, thank you to everyone, everyone who watches. We really appreciate it. And until next time, happy cooking. Also, yeah. we'll use this beef for the uh, chow mein that we're gonna make and show you how to defrost it. Say bye, mum. Bye, happy cooking.